Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O Sacred Feast, in which you partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom we will live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom you did merit to bear. Alleluia. Has risen as he said. Alleluia. Pray for us to God. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech you that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the five glorious mysteries. The first mystery is the resurrection. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second mystery, the Ascension. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth mystery, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth mystery. The Coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of mercy. mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry for banished children of evil. To you do we send up our sighs. Mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for our, your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share to all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic. Pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Wednesday within the octave of the Easter we will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand.
Lord, open my lips. And my, and my mouth, mouth should proclaim your praise. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock, his shepherds. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Masa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Forty years, Saint enjoyed that generation. I said, there are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I saw in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. The Lord, the Lord is, risen. is risen. Alleluia. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the Lord is, is risen. risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The splendor of Christ risen from the dead has shone on the people redeemed by his blood. Alleluia. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a, as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Redeemer has risen from the tomb. Let us sing a hymn of praise to the Lord our God. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. Your springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Zariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Alleluia, the Lord is risen as he promised. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's son exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. 
For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and banishment to all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Glory to God in the highest. Let us pray. 
O God, who gladden us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit through them to reach eternal joys through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer, and a man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leaped up, stood, and walked around, and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He the Lord is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Please stand. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things they had occurred, that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped looking downcast. 
One of them named Cleopas said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And beside all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther. And they urged him, stay with us. For it is nearly evening, and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said a blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened, and they, were, they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us. So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Yung Emmaus event, binasa nating Ibanghelyo, ay uh, bahagi na ng resurrection stories. Sabi ko nga po, pagkabasa ko na naman ng, ng Ibanghelyo, talagang si Lord back to work kaagad. Well, it's not as if he stopped working, but uh, after the resurrection, he made true uh, with his promise to make himself known that uh, death has actually no power over him, that he truly was resurrected. He was raised from the dead. But the thing is that, ang ganda ng mga kwento na, ma, na mapapakinggan natin, dito sa, hindi lang dito sa octave ng Easter, kundi the whole Easter season is a story of how again the Lord revealed Himself as a resurrected Christ to His disciples. In a way, po pwede nating isipin na nanunuyo uli yung Panginoon at parang sinasabi sa kan mga disciples and apostles, See, sinabi ko sa inyo, not everything will end in the cross. It's not going to end in my death. There is a resurrection. And then the Emmaus event is similar to that. How the two disciples gradually realized that the Lord is truly risen. So yung kwento, naglalakad pa uwi, downcast, dejected, disappointed, feeling even betrayed that they have spent, in invested so much of their time and life to a certain person and yet mukhang nauwi sa wala. So these, these two disciples were going home, going back to their usual ways. And then they were dejected. And as they were going back to their home, walking, yung seven miles po na yun, medyo mahaba-habang lakarin din po yun, 
somebody entered into their conversation and then they asked the question, ang pinag-uusapan ninyo? And then when he asked, uh, when they asked, ikaw lang ba ang hindi nakakaalam ng mga nangyari? And then the Lord pursued and they recounted, you know, how difficult it is kapag ka merong isang painful na pangyayari sa buhay natin kapag ka pinapaulit sa atin lalong lalo na kapag ka sariwa pa parang sabi, wag muna natin pag-usapan yan sariwang sariwa pa it must have been very painful to them to recount everything that had happened the past few days masakit pa, sariwa pa frustrated pa, ang bigat-bigat pa at pa naglalakad and they were carrying that and yet, they told the story they obliged the one who asked them the question, anong nangyari? And they were telling the story. And then, ang ganda po, sapagat sa dulo, it was something that is unique. Sapagat instead na madagdagan yung kanilang bigat sa loob, instead na madagdagan yung kanilang pain, instead na manariwa uli yung mga pinagdaanan nila the past few days, anong sabi ni Cleopas? Were not our hearts been burning as we were talking about it? It was a different experience. Kung, kung tayo kapag ka paulit-ulit na lalong-lalong kapag sariwa pa yung mga pangyayaring masaklap sa buhay natin, pabigat ng pabigat ang pabigat yun. Toxic. It becomes even toxic. Hindi. Dito habang kinukwento nila yung pangyayari, it's not toxic. It was salbific. Because again, it brought them to the realization na totoo pala. And then along the way, ang nararamdaman nila is that we're not our hearts been burning. Ang na sa dulo, sapagkat yun yung realization ni Cleopas. Bakit kaya? Sapagkat, as I was looking at the reason, unang-una, sabi ko nga kanina, yung kwento ay salbific. Yung kwento ay is about the resurrection. It's not an ordinary pain. It's a pain that this, in the end, would save us. It's a pain that did not end in death and in suffering. Uh, kaya nga, nung pinagninilay-nilayan ko, sabi ko, mukhang hindi lang po pala talaga Pilipino yung ang Semana Santa ay natatapos sa Biyernes Santo. Di ba? Kadalasan kasi sa ating mga Pilipino, pagkat sinabi mong Semana Santa, natapos sa Biyernes Santo. Kasi pagdating ng Sabado de Gloria, nasa dagat na, nasa resort na, nagpapahinga na, naghahandaan na sa bahay. No? But no! No? Uh, even before, they were going home dejected, frustrated. They thought it all ended noong kanyang uh, crucifixion and death. So the Lord's appearance to the two is a reminder to them that it did not end in futile ways. It did not end in death. There is something more. There is something more. Kung baga sa Filipino movie, yung palang ay nagpabugbog yung bida. Di ba? Yung mga panahon ni Fernando po Jr. na mga genre ng movie natin na sa simula muna ay nabubugbog yung bida. But it's not the end. No? There is always something that is the resurrection. And for us Christians, it is important to complete the story that there is a resurrection. It's salvific. It's the whole the whole story is salvific but it's incomplete kapag hindi sinama natin yung resurrection. Why is it very important these days? Because as this situation that we are in seems to be ebb and flow, tataas, bababa, magnify, lalala, uh, magiging okay. We don't know even kung hanggang saan. But my dear friends, we are being asked to factor in the resurrection event. Because if we're not going to factor in the resurrection event, we're going to be dejected. We're going to be frustrated. We're going to give up. We will continue to lose hope. Sa panahon natin ngayon, yung the resurrection story is not just a story. It is an event na nangyayari sa ating buhay ngayon. It is something that is very important. It is salbific. Kaya nga, kapag kinukwento nung, kinukwento nung dalawa sa ating Panginoon, eh, hindi na dadagdagan yung dejection, yung frustration, kundi nawawala. It was then that gradually their sights were opened. And then fully, their sights were opened at the breaking of the bread. Kaya nga sabi ni Cleopas, ulit-ulitin natin, were not our hearts burning. Pangalawa, my dear friends, this Emmaus event is a reminder to us that as Christians, we're all traveling 
we are all journeying. But take note, it's not an ordinary road. As Christians, we are journeying to an Emmaus road. It is an Emmaus road because it is a road wherein we recognize that the Lord is with us, traveling with us, asking questions every now and then. And hopefully, along with it, Siguro kapag ka nagta-travel kayo, kahit na mahal na mahal mo yung asawa mo, di ba, naglalakad kayo, hindi mo tinitingnan all throughout habang naglalakad kayo, no? Mabubunggo kayo. But you look at one direction. I think it's the same thing when the apostles, when the disciples were walking with the Lord. Di nila palaging tinitingnan yung kanilang katabi. Kundi they were looking at one direction. But they were listening. And for that reason, their hearts were burning as they were talking about it. We are all journeying. But remember, it's not an ordinary road. It is the road of Emmaus and then to Emmaus. Because it is the road, it is the road when we will continue to recognize that we are traveling with the Lord. Dear friends, again, napakahalaga niyan ngayon. Bakit, bakit ganito yung preaching ko? Sapagat kahapon po, uh, umagang umaga, I received a text from a friend, no, an OFW. And sabi niya, Pads, baka naman matulungan mo kami. Lima sa pamilya namin ang nagka-COVID. Dalawa, one after another, they died already. This was just yesterday. And then, sabi niya, tatlo doon sa relatives ko, kapatid, no, very close, ay nasa isolation, intubated. We don't have a hospital. I really don't know how to talk to people when it ka pagka sa mga ganitong pagkakataon. But I remember the resurrection event. God is traveling. So, ang hirap sapagkat when I called our friends sa mga hospital, puno talaga yung mga hospital. Wala talagang mapaglagyan. Nasa more than 15 na nakapila doon sa isang hospital na malaki na yon yung relatives sa mga, ng kaibigan namin. It's difficult at this moment to talk about it, but my dear friends, remember what happened after they recognized that it was the Lord. They did not stop. They went back to Jerusalem to announce and to tell those who were still dejected, fearful, who are still doubting that the Lord is truly risen. For all of us here, there is a challenge. It's not a challenge, just an ordinary challenge. For those who are still well, for all those who have a little bit more in life, in this time of a very difficult situation we are in, we are being asked to preach the resurrection. It is salvific, and we are all traveling the road to Emmaus. And hopefully we continue to remind each other, were not our hearts been burning as we talk about these things. Kind of all stand. Recalling how the disciples on the road to Emmaus recognized Jesus in the breaking of the bread, we pray to God the Father for a deeper appreciation of the risen Christ, our spiritual food for the journey through life. Let your response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pope and the bishops may effectively proclaim the message of hope by their holy lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders may bring hope and light to our people by their dedication to public service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may understand why Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be healed and be strengthened by the reception of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parents, relatives, benefactors, and for those whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prior provincial and his assistants, and for our brothers and ministry at Bahay Dominico and St. Mary Magdalene, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, 
and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may enjoy the fullness of life in the company of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag for their well-being, for their health and safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our frontliners, for those who work in, uh, for health workers, for our leaders in the church and in the government, that the Lord may continue to enlighten them and give them strength as they continue to serve the people of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who are going through deep suffering because of the covid that they may realize that they are not traveling this difficult road on their own, that there is always us and Christ who will be with them in this difficult travel, difficult journey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause for a while in silence. We offer our personal intention. Heavenly Father, grant us the deep faith necessary to recognize your Son in all situations we experience in life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For today are at work of human hands, it will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you for the divine work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race, and be pleased to accomplish in us the salvation of mind and body. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we, therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation and giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake on the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard the Master, the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, 
grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The disciple recognized the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread. Alleluia. Please stand. Beginning with Moses and the prophets, Jesus interpreted for them all that had been written of him in the scriptures. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, for to the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath to sort our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our lives. My child shall call the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning 
is now and will be forever. Amen. Beginning with Moses and the prophets, Jesus interpreted for them all that have been written of Him in the Scriptures. Alleluia. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now say the oration perata for the Archdiocese of Lingayam Dagupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Lingayam Dagupan. Let us answer together, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey to priestly formation. Mary, help of Christian. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you, the beloved disciple, at the foot of the cross, take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests, Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray, Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your Son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Account many with your help, your priest's sons, as they follow you, your son who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for an announcement. The summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on April 21, 2021, third Wednesday of Easter. Novena Masses will begin on April 12 until April 20, 2021. The schedule of Masses will be at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m., and will be streamed live through the social media platforms of the Minor Basilica and via Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. We cordially invite you to participate in the Feast and the Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses during this Feast and Novena, you may approach our Basilica personnel in the religious stores and Mass intention counters or visit our website www.manawagbasilica.org or FB page, facebook.com, Minor Basilica, Manawag Official. Thank you. Please stand. Before I give the final blessing, maraming salamat po sa pakikiisa ninyo sa banal na misa. For those who traveled to visit uh, the Minor Basilica, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks be to God. Let Hallelujah. us now say the prayer for a blessing of the sick, and then we bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious articles, we pray in memory of the miseries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.